This is day three of Furnace Fest 2024. Is the end of an era. This festival was around in 2000 to 2003, and they brought it back in 2020. That ended up getting postponed until about 2021, and we're doing a three-year run 2024. So Sure has always been here to sponsor the festival. We've always been here. So we upped the ante since it's the end of an era, and we provided an audio package for the pond stage here. And I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of all the products and everything that we're using here on the stage. Um, the results have been tremendous. All the comments have been super positive. Uh, all the guest engineers, which you'll see some testimonials here in a bit, um, really speaks for themselves. So without further ado, I'm going to give you a rundown of what we have here at front of house. And then we'll walk up on stage, talk about the PA, and then we can talk about monitor world and then uh, show you guys what we're using across the front lines. So right here at front of house for the pond stage, uh, for the control package, we're running a Allen & Heath DLive S5000 Surface with a DM0 mix rack. Um, both the monitor console and the front of house console are loaded with the brand new Ultra FX cards. So we're taking use of all those brand new reverbs, um, a little bit of auto-tune here and there, but no one has to know about that. Um, so and we, I think uh, Scotty, the front of house guy, is doing some amp saturation on stuff, some amp and cab modeling on some base DIs, and it just it just sounds huge in the house, absolutely huge. The way we're getting all the I/O from stage, which you'll see in a minute, we have a DM64 uh, on stage where all the inputs hit, and that comes redundant Cat5 to the Giga Ace card. So we're networked via Giga Ace. So anything we see on stage, we get here at front of house. That also allows us to use the cards as um, basically a comm system. So we have a DB Technologies Opera Revo here, which is uh, literally killing a flea with a stick of dynamite um, for a shout box, right? So uh, front of house and monitors has constant communication back and forth without having to rely on a radio because sometimes these can be really hard to hear when everything's going. While we're here, let's talk about the PA and we'll walk, we'll walk up closer, but I want to show you the software. So the PA that we're using today is a DB Technologies VO L1610. And we've got 18, so we have nine per side on the tops. Uh, the 1610 is a dual 10 inch three way box. Um, they sound amazing. They really do. Like, you know, we demo them all the time all over the Southeast and we listen to as much Toto and BYU Vocal Point as we possibly can. But nothing really shows off how tremendous these boxes are until you actually put some, in this case, uh, super heavy metal, ska thrash metal, hardcore music. Uh, we are beating the absolute mess out of these boxes and they refuse to quit. They're in direct sunlight. Uh, they've been running for three days on the generator, sipping power. Uh, and we are just probably pushing this rig to about 75% or so, when you say about there, 75%. Uh, and we're doing about 102 to 105 dB at front of house, consistent. So we're, uh, we've got a lot more headroom, but we're trying to be uh, responsibly loud. At front of house right here, this is a roar net. So all the speakers are networked. Um, so we have full control over everything at all times. So we can see all the boxes. So you can see left and right hangs. These are the front fills and then these are the subs. So right now we kind of have it on show mode. So it's showing all the output metering. But at any point we can just go over here in the software and we can just check on the temperatures. How are the boxes running? These things have been in direct sunlight for three days now and it's perfect. We can make sure the boxes are working right just by hitting test. I don't know if you can hear that on camera, but we basically just ran a little check. It sends tone through the low, mids, and highs, and then we report back if anything was wrong. So at the beginning of the day, we come in, we just hit test on all the boxes, make sure everything's good, and we're good to go. The subwoofers are DB Technologies VOS218, and we have 12 of them across the front. Um, and we loaded them in, set measurements, and we set up a digital arc in the software. So basically, instead of having to do anything physical with the subs or move them, we were able to just tell the software what we wanted them to do, hit a button, we did it. So it works fantastic. The low end response is insane. Every single bass drop here rattles your teeth, shakes your pants, makes your chest feel like it's about to explode. If you love it, uh, it's got it. If you don't love it, stand further back. The front fills uh, are little unsung heroes. We call those the invisible boxes, as Matthew Whitman from DB Tech likes to call them. Those are the DB Tech L208. So that's just a simple uh, dual eight two-way front fill. 
which is always uh, the same as the other boxes. Everything on the VO line is networked. Um, and we have those basically set uh, as a front fill off the console. So we're running uh, matrix left, right into left, right subs and fills. And we're able to blend those to where when you walk around, you don't even notice them. So that's the whole point of front fills. You don't want to notice them. You just want to feel where all the hardcore fans are right up on the front. You want to make sure they're hearing the vocals, hearing the guitars. Uh, trust me, they can hear the kick drums. So we got that covers. Uh, but yeah, those are the little unsung heroes. But with that, let's, uh, let's run over to Monitor World and do a quick run down of the stage. We got a uh, constant white noise generator here, which is fantastic for smart. So uh, we got to have them turn that off every once in a while, but it's fine. Feels good. We've got all the dual 18s here across the front stacked in pairs, and they're all spaced. Uh, whatever the software told us to do, we basically spaced them right there. So I think they're all about like 38 inches apart, and we told the software exactly where it was, and then everything just kind of snap happened in place. So that's really cool. Uh, we can get a little closer. We can check out the rig. So you can see this. This is basically just a power alley of subwoofers here. Um, we did have to, of course, stripe it off because we don't want people walking on it, but you know, all right, let's walk up on stage. We'll check out what we have for uh, all the microphones on stage, which are all sure. Uh, everything on stage is sure. So they've supported this festival and they supported this stage 110%. And we're so thankful for Sure, Alan Heath and DB Tech for helping us all this year. All right, so here we are on deck. Uh, like I said earlier, everything on the stage is powered by Sure. Uh, all of the frontline vocal mics we've been using the entire weekend are all Shure Nexodyne, the new Nexodyne vocals. So we have a mixture of super cardioid and cardioid. Uh, we've really been digging the super on all the vocals on stage. Um, all the artists seem to love them. Uh, the front of house guy is like having zero issues with cymbal bleed or guitar bleed because let me tell you something. These amps, this is a, this is a hard rock festival. These things are cranked literally to 11, no pun intended. Um, so there's a lot of stage volume up here from all the amplification, and these guys are doing a fantastic job of just making sure we capture just the vocal. And it is so full and so thick, and everyone's so happy. For the cardioid ones, we've actually been using a lot of those. So we've had a lot of ska bands. So we've got trombones, trumpets, saxophones. And we've been using those to mic those, and we've got some amazing feedback. When you're mixing ska specifically, getting all the horns to blend in with the guitars, keyboards, the drums, everyone running around, it's incredibly difficult. He was able to tame it in uh, with the assistance. We also, on the D-Live, we used a Dyn8 dynamic EQ and compressor on all the horns. Uh, and there's actually a preset that comes with D-Live called the Horn Tamer, or Brass Tamer, excuse me. And uh, he just kind of recalled that preset and he was good for the rest of the night. So he was like, this is incredible. So. That is an incredible tool that we can use all the time. For guitars, we have SM57s on all the amplifiers. Um, when they want a bass mic, we're going to the tried and trusty Beta 52. Drum overheads are KSM 141s. And uh, the rest of the kit, we can't talk about, but you'll find out soon. No, 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 sorry. You'll have to wait. You gotta wait. Sure is always working on new and exciting things. Just promise you wait. So that's pretty much the stage. So let's take a look at Monitor World if we can get back there and I'll show you all the wireless, uh, Spectrum Manager, and kind of what we're running for the D-Live. Well, I guess we can start here. So DM64 for front of house and monitors running a split. We do have a Dante card, a Waves card, and a Giga Ace card in there. So if anybody wanted to multi-track or use Waves, that's already loaded. We have a Dante card in front of house that we are multi-tracking pretty much every band with. Uh, so it's really awesome to be able to give the engineer, say, do you have a hard drive? I'm going to give you stems. And then they're just like, this is amazing. So I know a lot of consoles can do that, but it's just something that, that I like to do and just go the extra mile and just give them the file. So we're in Ross's cubby now. Uh, Ross from Production One is doing monitors for us here today at the festival. You can tell it's Ross by his coffee maker, which is uh, really good coffee, by the way. So I cannot wait to let that thing heat up here in a second and get a jolt. So for monitors, uh, we're running a C3500. So this is the C series. So it's basically almost the same as an S5. It's just missing a few knobs here and there. Still dual touch screens, uh, 12 faders and 12 faders. This is a great monitor desk because you've got 12 and 12. It's nice and even. Um, you don't have to break it up into 12, 8, and 8. So you can basically have all your inputs, 
all your outputs right here. And they've just been running and gunning. And like, we've had 15 minute changeovers and only the headliner gets a sound check. And we've been able to get the monitors dialed in in under seven or eight minutes. Uh, the band gets set up and I, we've been running on time, which is incredibly difficult at a throw and go festival like this. Everything has been top notch and on time. Well, we also brought a six pack of Shure PSM 1000s with a PAH1 combiner. So those are here for all the bands to use at any time. Uh, we also have, have one set up for a queue right now. So we can just kind of walk around and uh, not to use earplugs and be able to monitor the queue mix at any point. Uh, for the wireless control package, uh, we of course have Shure Axiom Digital. Um, so we've got four sticks of that. We also have some body packs uh, for any horns that want to be wireless for you know, all the Scott stuff. Starting down here, we've got the AD600 with Spectrum Manager. So I've got that hooked up to a pair of uh, UA874 antennas here on deck. Uh, this allows us to run wireless workbench, rip a scan super fast. Anyone who comes in with guest wireless like we have right here, this guy, this band just showed up with their own in-ear rig. We're able to freak out the entire system, assign them frequencies, and it's been trouble-free all day. So I can't say enough about the AD600. It is an invaluable tool. Right below that, we've got the uh, Axiom Digital. It's a quad unit, right? So we have yet to freak it. So that's why you're seeing a lot of errant RF. If you don't know Axiom Digital by now, you should. Uh, in my opinion, it's the industry standard, obviously. Uh, but it sounds great. We're using a mixture of Nexodyne, um, both super cardioid and cardioid, as well as KSM9, KSM11, SM58. We have a smorgasbord, smorgasbord of microphone elements here at our disposal. Thank you to Shure and Nick Sandoval over at Shure on the events team for getting that out to us. Let's see, what else can we talk about over here? Obviously, DJ, the stage manager, has been running uh, wireless workbench the entire time, monitoring the airwaves doing an incredible job of that, making sure everybody has what they need at all given times. Um, and that's pretty much it for the pond stage here at Furnace Fest 2024. All right, and lastly, I, I just wanna take a quick minute to recognize all of our production partners and customers that made this possible. Uh, the PA was loaned to us from Overflow Productions out of Florence, Alabama. They own this rig. As soon as it leaves here, it's going on tour with Nitro Circus. So if you're going to see Nitro Circus, you're gonna hear this rig out there. Uh, Production One gave us crew and they've been fantastic. We've got uh, monitors, front of house and stage managing from Production One and they are crushing it. Uh, Hunter Blake Productions, thank you so much for all the radios. We could not do this without you because this thing is loud and we need to be in constant communication. So I really appreciate it. Uh, 242 Concepts out of Hendersonville, Tennessee, uh, loaned us the control package for front of house. Spectrum Sound, thank you so much for all the easy tilts for the front of house and monitors. Um, that was incredible. And they also assisted with some stage power. And then Premier Media Rentals, uh, thank you so much. Uh, they're here in Birmingham. They gave us all the stands, all the cabling, the C uh, 64 channel um, split snake. Sorry, it's day three and I am running low on fumes. And then lastly, thank you to Furnace Fest for having us here. This has been an absolute blast. Johnny and Chad, you guys are amazing. What you built is amazing. Uh, this really is an end of an era. Uh, I hope to see it continue. Uh, we're having way too much fun here and we kind of don't want it to end. We're all tired, but we're ready to go, man. We're ready to rip. So thank you guys. If you came to Furnace Fest and said hey to us, gave us a high five. Thank you. I hope to see you sometime in the future. And if you need any of this stuff at all, make sure you drop us a like, follow, comment, shoot us an email, visit us at hwpco.com. Or if you want a demo of anything we have here, Go to demo.hwpco.com and we will get you on the books and we'll show up for the red carpet. Thanks, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 sorry. No, that, nope. Later. Later.